it's so new and so exciting and, and, and so, uh, so much of a divergence from traditional development of race cars. Here is this combination of these already proven items. Uh, would you like to be involved? Or in our case, would you like to build this thing? And <laughs> are you kidding? Yes, absolutely. Don't hesitate. Absolutely, yes. Traditionally, cars have, have had to have more horsepower and bigger wings and bigger tires to make the speeds go faster and faster. This takes a radically different approach. The secret of the car is to halve the weight, halve the aerodynamic drag, halve the power, therefore, that's required, therefore halve the fuel burn, and at the same time, because you've simplified the car, halve the cost and still go just as fast as the premier status racing cars that we see today. I think I do have a, a lot of curiosity. I'm really interested in this. Um, it's still an unknown, but I believe that the targets, the predictions are valid. And uh, if, in this case, the key actually is turned, that is, a real invitation comes from the Le Mans 24-hour uh, organizers, uh, Count me in. One of the um, attractions of Le Mans is that it's not s simply one spec of regulation, or certainly not spec cars. So you have an incredible variety, not only the different fuel types, but the closed cockpit type, the open cockpit, the GTs, and so on, all the way through the field. Given that and the way the world is going towards efficiency and, and, and green technologies and trying to conserve resources, this project really, in my opinion, is a catalyst to promote what potentially could be done on a much wider scale throughout the automotive industry. You know, the challenge is where on earth do you race something that doesn't comply to a rule book? Well, the answer is the, the long-sighted, the foresight of the ACO to create this opportunity and um, basically l let a, a group like ours come along and showcase some crazily wild technology that will be very exciting and interesting. So for them to do that, I think that's probably one of the greatest innovations in modern times. It's exciting as can be because it, it almost is, uh, it's still basic engineering, but the combination of it is just uh, astoundingly good. Well, to take a car like this to Le Mans that's never seen the light of day before in a totally innovative new design and uh, run it at Le Mans in front of uh, a worldwide television audience of roughly 600 million people and, and a couple hundred thousand people in the stands. Uh, to have that really be the first 24-hour legitimate test with 55 other cars on the, on the track at the same time is going to be a huge challenge, but one that we're certainly up for.